Kamori, and I'm here today to show you our latest offering through Kamori Care, and it is a digital stripe gauge. Um, we're all familiar with the little plastic cheater card. You ink up your rollers, you roll it around, look for the stripe, you put the card up next to it, and check the stripe to see how close it is. You make an adjustment, roll it around again, check the stripe again, maybe you have to do it again, check it again, and then usually at that point, the guys are looking at it, and they're saying, yeah, it's close enough, looks good for my side, looks good on yours. Not very accurate, and also not very fast. So what we have in our little Kamori attache case, it's my case, are the two DigiNib stripe gauges. They are Bluetooth, so there's no wire, which is nice. Um, extremely accurate and extremely fast. How it works is you have two little stripes, a white stripe on the two ends and a red stripe in the middle. We're gonna inch that in between the two rollers, get it as close to the red one as possible. It takes the reading and then it'll send the information to your iPad, smartphone, tablet, anything that you can download an app on, it will work. Extremely accurate, extremely fast. You put it in once, set the stripe, you're done. Basically set it and forget it, it's very simple. Um, I think at this point, we should go on and look at the app itself, see how to set it up, and also the cool little tools that it has. Okay, so at this point, we're gonna go through the app itself. So first thing we need to do is download the app. If you have an, an Apple product, iPhone, iPad, you need to go to the Apple Store. If you have an Android or a smartphone, you're going to go to the Google Play Store. And you're going to down, look for the app that says Tablet Measure. Download it, it's free, it's very simple. And then at this point, tap on it. Tap on it. And then we're going to turn on our first DigiNip. Little power button here. Click it, I get a little blue LED that's flashing. So now I'm going to tap on the screen and it popped up right here. That's the first Bluetooth it sees. Now it's gonna connect. So it turns blue, gives me my battery power down here. And I need two of them, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the other one up. Hit the power button in the second one. Little Bluetooth is flashing quick. So now we're gonna add another one. So we go up to the top right corner to the plus side and I hit the tablet measure again. It's connecting to the second one. So now I got a blue one and a yellow one. And if you look, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I got a blue LED here, which is connected to that one and a yellow LED that is connected to this side. So now I know which side is which when we insert them into the press. Again, you're gonna roll it in, in between the two rollers between the two white stripes, get as close as you can to the red stripe, and I can give you a quick demo, and it actually shows you the width of the stripe. Okay, some of our other options we have on here, down on the bottom left, there's little sliders. If I press on that, I can select millimeter or milli-inch. I can change the colors of the LEDs if you're not happy with the blue and yellow. Once you've done that, the little check mark takes me back to the home screen. This one here, little pencil it's where I can save notes. Maybe if you have a roller that you need to keep an eye on or maybe put down who set the rollers last, whatever you want. Use the little icon here to type or you can use the little microphone and actually speak into it and leave a voice message. Little arrow to the left takes me back to the home screen again. So next we're going to come over here to the plus and I have a few options. I have campaigns which is where we can save the roller charts for different presses. Data history is where you can go back and look through saved settings that you've made. Status is basically the status of the DigiNips themselves, the Bluetooth, the signal strength, and then also the, uh, the battery strength. And then feedback, that's feedback for the app, and then there's a little help screen as well to help you go through and set up some of the stuff. We're gonna hit the little uh, back arrow, it always takes you back to the home screen. What I've already done, if I come back in here, under campaign, I've saved the roller chart for the uh, Kamori GL 40 inch press. If I come into measure, it pulls up my chart, and here are the settings that we want for individual units. There's a couple here that I haven't programmed in yet. Um, 
but when it comes to actually setting up, I will pull up this chart and it's actually very nice for people that don't have the roller stripes memorized, maybe they're a little new, whatever it might be. So I pull this up under campaign and I hit measure. So now if I tap on that, that there was a 4.0 millimeter stripe up here in the top, my target, it actually tells me what it is that I'm looking or shooting for, which is actually a very nice feature, makes it easy. Um, I think at this point, the best thing to do is let's go use it on the press and see what it does. Okay, so we just finished up setting up the app on our iPad, and we've already linked up the DigiDips to the app. So we got the yellow on my side and a yellow LED, the blue on the gear side with the blue LED. Can't get it confused, make sure we're linked up right. Um, again, we're going to just stick it in between the two rollers and we're going to check want to inch it in so it's between the two white stripes get as close as you can to the red and we'll go ahead and stick them in here now close okay they're both really light We've already loosened our locks Same thing on that side of four, 4.1. It's well within tolerance, as far as what we're shooting for. So it's that simple. We set it once, no back and forth, no ink in the rollers, no ink on the hands, no ink all over the press. It's that simple. So at this point, we're gonna take them out.